watch your footwork here as you're walking, walking. There's going to be a backward step. I want you to shuffle. Find that spot by shuffling earlier. So you're just now getting there in the set position as he serves it. But I think you can be a little bit higher off that 45 degree mark. It's an outswinger, no chance to shoot. I think you can win this ball as it gets served if you're a little bit higher. The next thing I want to talk about is the positioning. All right, we have our center back, Mike here who's facing the wrong way and gets beat. All right, we have to communicate that run coming across him earlier, and then he can deal with it, but ultimately I think you can cut that cross out. And finally, just the positioning of some of our players here. We have Mo, who's our uh, player just inside the box on the right side. He's kind of in no man's land. I'd like to see him either um, hustling to try and double or, or getting back into a recovery angle, um, but also... Uh, the player, our player at the top of the box at the right side is just a little bit late to recover as well. But ultimately, this is a panic mode for us. Um, like I said, I think you need to be a little bit higher and help us organize quicker, and we've cut it out. The next clip really emphasizes getting to our spots a little bit quicker. As this ball is played wide, watch that backwards pedal, backwards pedal. Stay 45 degrees, shift your body. When he takes his first touch, you really have to recognize that angle adjusts a little bit quicker, um, and then obviously we need to do a better job of cutting out that cross, communicating away, and I think you did, but um, the, the clearance obviously needs to be better. On this next clip, as the ball goes negative, I think our, our nearest guy there that's, that's coming up from the back line can maybe get out and pressure him a little bit. What we're looking for is as this ball struck, we've got a decent starting position outside of our six. Uh, we're not worried about the shot from there, but we're looking for our back line to just drop. And if it's our ball, which it is there, um, to protect us, to, to fend off any runners, uh, I think you do a really good job of high pointing that ball. And then um, uh, obviously that's something we've been working on a lot. This next clip, we have to encourage our players to step in front and try and win this. We don't want the ball to bounce, but also that happened too many times where we get caught behind the defender. Um, now I want you to watch as this player gets ready to strike the ball. Okay, the ball's bounced through. We're not set. You can see your feet are staggered, so you never get set on time. And and also, you know, they have three runners defensive shape. We're, we're getting beat there. You're not set there. That's dangerously close to finding the back of the net. Let's just take a look one more time. Watch, watch your footwork um, here. Watch the goalkeeper's footwork here as this ball goes wide and the goalkeeper comes into screen. You can see just um, backpedaling, backpedaling, okay, but we got to be set there, okay? We're not, and then we got to be set there. You can see your body shift to the right, and then you're late to shift back to the left. On this last clip, I want you to take a look at the weak side. Number 21 in white there for Park. Clearly making a run. Our player checks his shoulder, realizes, but but watch the effort to get back. And, and not just that, but by our back line as well, to get in position, to be facing the right way to deal with this cross. There's actually three spots that we're worried about on this play as this, as this ball get, is attacked from a wide position. Uh, the first one is the space right in front of the six at the near post where the central player is making a run. That's where goals are scored. That's a very dangerous spot to be in. Um, the player outside the box centrally could also receive a cutback ball. In that case, we just probably drop back to our line, give ourselves enough time to react. And then we already mentioned the player on the far side who I think beats uh, our defender if the ball is served to the far post. And in that case, we're obviously scrambling um, across our goal and, and trying to spread big and, and react to the ball.